guys ready? So I have my tools. Dun, dun, dun. Ah! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on my two week post op for my tube reversal. If you'd like to see what this video is gonna be about, stay tuned. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about, I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, my recovery, my results, and all of those things. You know, I'm very excited. So, I did have my, my post week up appointment. Guys, forgive me. Let's, let's take that back. So, I did have my appointment for my one week post op last week, you guys. And um, he basically told me my tubes were great. Um, he didn't really tell me about any scar tissue. I'm pretty sure I had some due to my C-sections before. But he said everything looked great. It looked great to me. I don't really necessarily know the numbers. But just looking at the tube, it looks like it's in good shape to me. And he did do the, the blue dye to run it through my tubes and make sure that, you know, they were open. So that's some really good news to hear, you know. So I just wanted to tell you guys how I'm feeling now. Um, there is zero pain today. Um... Sometimes when I, you know, walk a lot, if I do too much, if I stand up too much, then I may feel a little discomfort. But for the most part, it's no more of that incision pain. It's no more of the tubes, you know. I do still have some swelling, and it does feel a little heavy. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get rid of that. If you guys have any advice on that, definitely comment down below. I definitely want to know. So I do still have swelling a little bit. I can show you what that looks like. see so I have like a bump still I didn't have that before I mean I wasn't the skinniest <laughs> but I didn't have that before so you know I still have that and I'm working on that I just try to walk when I can like I go out in the neighborhood walk some I'm up, I'm up around the house I don't really do too much like bending and you know strenuous activities but I am up moving around so that I can let gas pass through me you know when they get that out so I'm very excited guys we're gonna make a baby you know we're gonna add you know we're excited about this thing so like I said there's no more pain I'm not taking any more medications um I did like I said when I was taking it I was taking like half of the pill I wouldn't I don't like taking heart harsh medicines like that it makes me feel sick and I just don't like being discombobulated everything is going great i know everybody's body is different so i know i've seen in different videos sometimes it takes people a whole month to feel better like still in pain so i don't really jinx myself but you know i know my body's still healing i'm gonna take things very slowly um i am able to get up and walk around i don't really stay in bed like that anymore I try to rest some just because my body did go on a high, heavy operation you want to definitely take that in consideration you know after that you don't want to just get up because you're not back to normal i don't care what anyone says your body it takes time they just open you up they just alter some things you want to definitely take consider consideration of those things you know so um i do have pictures of my tubes that i want to show you guys i do want to warn you it's pretty graphic and it's very bloody so i'm gonna show you that So this is my left one, he says. And see the blue dye out of there and out of there. So that's my left one. And then my right one. If you like to pause this video, you can and look at it if you're not freaked out. But that's my right one. Looks pretty good to me blue guy came out as well so I'm very happy about that now um, some things that I did consider was when they you know after they was done the surgery they definitely put a binder on me something like this you know and I kept it on for a few days I took it off because it was making me uncomfortable it was kind of like pushing down on it so it kind of would make like by my tube area it was kind of uncomfortable but every now and again I put this on when I go out and walk because I feel like it does help some now that I'm not in as much pain before and I do have some spanks on too, you know, just the, you know, these right here, they go all the way up and it just, it just, you know, kind of helps you have everything into place until you get your body together or whatever. And like, I use a heating pad, um, it's electrical, I don't have it right now, but you just plug it in and heat it up. And then 
I have this thing that I was using. I see a lot of people talk about this right here. I would get some hot boiling water um, or hot water, whatever. And um, I will put castor oil, I would rub it like around my belly and like around where I think my tubes are, I have no idea. But I will put them like over there, massage it some, and then I would just put this on top of my stomach. And there's another thing I can advise you guys. Oh yeah, I've been changing my diet lately because like I'm not really, you know ecstatic about where I am but like surgery does kind of put you behind if you're trying to you know work on your fitness so that's another thing to be in consideration don't beat yourself up about it it's gonna be okay it's gonna go away so don't worry about that and the place that I went to it was basically um, my doctor was Dr. Shea located in Jacksonville Florida and we went to a surgery center here in Jacksonville so if you want to check that out you definitely do it it's called assisted fertility you can look that up and um, if you're located, I think Virginia, Orlando, Florida, and Jacksonville, Florida. If you're located in any of those areas, if you're willing to travel, you can definitely do it. This is not a sponsorship. I just really like the doctor and how he was. He was amazing. He took care of me. Some things I didn't really like, he doesn't really go into details, but that's most men. They don't really talk a lot. So I wish that some of the things um, that I went through, I would have knew ahead of time because like, your girl went to the ER because my damn shoulder was hurting. And I had gas so built up that it was hurting like near my rib area. So that's something I wish I knew. And if you guys don't know that now, you're going to have gas. Like almost everyone has the gas and you have pain somewhere. You're going to have pain and it's not going to make sense to you, but just know you're going to have it. Um, so that's another thing. I definitely, um, I'm going to encourage you to take the gas X like the day of or the day um, after. Keep taking it until like, you know, some of your swelling goes down. Definitely take some laxative or like a, a milk of magnesia so that you can use the restroom because your bowels are going to be blocked up, you know? So definitely do that. And I, I really encourage soups and stuff. Don't go into the heavy eating. I did it. I had rice and beans when I came home. And that's another thing I feel like probably triggered to the gas. So be careful with that one. But everything is amazing, you guys. We're going to start soon. So I'm very happy about that. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on those things. So yeah, two weeks, we're there. My doctor said two weeks was the recovery date that he advised. So uh, we're basically good with that one. So yeah, two weeks, y'all. All right, so I'm currently in the bed. I am so sorry that I had to do like a take two with this video, but I definitely wanna you know, continue it. And I wanna thank you so much for bearing with me and watching this video, it means a lot to me. Um, if you definitely do like this video, definitely go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos so that I can continue this journey going and keep you guys updated if you're interested in doing so. But everything has been a success. My two-week update is um, it's amazing. And um, I didn't think I was going to heal this fast because the week before, my first week, it felt like, you know, I might need more time. Um, I might make another video if I do get some, you know, questions in regards to the tube reverse so I can tell you so many things that you need to know, you know. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. Deuce.